The white balance is probably one of the most important things you can set in your camera before taking a picture. Press the WB button right here to access the white balance option. You can also access this option with the quick menu, but this is a lot easier. Use the right or left navigation button or the dial up in the front to move across the different options in the white balance menu. With outdoor pictures, daylight will produce the most neutral colors. If it's a cloudy day, choose cloudy to warm up the tones in cloudy situations. Choosing shade will warm up the tones even more. And tungsten or halogen is really great for indoor situations. And use the flash white balance option when you're using the flash to illuminate your subject. If it's a sunny day and you're just using the flash to eliminate shadows, stick to daylight. You have two custom options, and the best time to use these two is with product photography. These will allow you to calibrate the white balance setting to the light source you're using in your scene. So if you're using two fluorescent lights to illuminate your subject, you would set this to either custom one or custom two. Press the up navigation button to set the white balance, and you'll get this little square in the center. Now what you want to do is introduce a white piece of paper or a gray card. Gray cards can be purchased at any professional photography store. They're a bit expensive, but they do get the most accurate color possible. Normally I just use a plain white piece of paper. I'll place the white piece of paper in my scene. As long as this square is completely filled with the white piece of paper or the gray card, I can press the set button to calibrate the camera. You can also use this to make something that is a little bit off-white, perfectly white or neutral in the picture. So for example, the dog's fur is not perfectly white in reality. It has a little bit of a yellowish tint to it. So I'll focus the square on the dog's fur, press the set button, and calibrate for that. Now when I take a picture, the dog's fur will come out white or neutral, but everything else will be adjusted accordingly. The final option allows you to select a specific Kelvin temperature. Go ahead and press the up navigation button to select it. Just use the down and up navigation buttons to adjust the Kelvin temperature. If I go up to 10,000, it'll make the image very, very warm, almost oversaturating the reds. If I go down, I can make it all the way down to 2,500, which will enhance the blues in the picture. This is good compensation for things like candlelight, which is a very, very yellow light. So what this does is try to balance the yellow in that light. Go ahead and press set to accept. And regardless of which white balance option you choose, you can always adjust it just a little bit in different directions. So for example, if I choose the daylight white balance option, I can press the down navigation button to adjust it to a slightly different color. So now I can use my navigation buttons to move the plus sign in the center over, shifting the colors just a little bit. This is really something that I never use. If you need your white balance to be that accurate, you can customize it with the custom white balance options or just shoot using the raw file format, which allows you to avoid setting a white balance altogether and using the computer to set the white balance later on. When you're done, go ahead and press set to escape. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.